Using the microscope function of Webcam Laboratory, you can observe the universe around you in the scope of sizes. In practice, this means that you can make measurements from microscopic to astronomical sizes. Let's see how it works. At the beginning, you have two options. On one hand, you can use the webcam to take a picture or load any picture you have. Let's start by selecting the webcam by pressing the Start Webcam button and using the pop-up menu. After this, another pop-up window will appear where you can select the desired resolution. In case of the microscope function, you should use the highest resolution possible so you will have a more detailed picture when you want to zoom into it. The camera feed appears in the left hand part of the screen. It is not common sense that you can make extreme close-up pictures using your webcam. All you have to do is pull out the focus to the utmost extent and you can take pictures of very very small objects. There are certain everyday webcams that will allow you to observe even single cell organisms. This time we will observe a wasp. The webcam laboratory team would like to ask you to only examine animals that have died in a natural way. Please do not kill any animals for the sake of an experiment. Webcam laboratory comes with a scale sheet. If you print it in its original size, you can place it underneath the object you are examining. Once the picture is adjusted for sharpness, you have two choices. Either use the size calibration or the start recording button. Press the Make a Picture button and Webcam Laboratory will take a picture of the object. Once the picture is taken, you can set the webcam on your desk so you can concentrate on the experiment. Next, you have to use the Size Calibration button. In order to start making measurements, you have to select the benchmark size. A pop-up window will appear where you can select the benchmark size using the printed scale sheet. This time, it is a square that is 1 cm by 1 cm, so this small area will be half a cm by half a cm. Working in such a small domain, it makes sense to use millimeter units, so let's set it and mark a 5 mm section on the screen. Next, you should check if the millimeter setting has been selected and set the size of the section, which is 5 mm in our case. Once this is successful, you can close this window, your setting is now complete. All measurements you take from this point on will be in real sizes. For making a measurement, select the measuring button and make the measurement by clicking on the picture just the same way as you did before on the size calibration picture. Once the measurement is taken, it makes sense to identify the project name and the name of the measurement itself for easier identification in the future. You can now continue your experiment, measure the wasp's head or leg or any part of it. After this, we should identify the measurements by selecting a name for it. Once you are finished, you can save the measured picture by pressing the save button or print the picture if you wish. After pressing the save button, you have to input the desired name for the picture and saving is complete. If you press on the print button, the print window will emerge where you can press the printer icon in the top left corner in order to activate the printing process. During measurement, you can zoom in by using the slide bar on the right hand side. After zooming in, you can move the picture by using the scroll bars on the side or the move picture button on the right hand side. Using this function, you can make measurements in very small sizes. For example, you can measure the thickness of the wasp's leg. If a measurement is not successful, you can use the undo button to cancel it. If you wish, you can change the picture parameters on the right hand side. On the side of the top panel, the camera properties button can be used to set the camera parameters. 
Using the two yellow slide bars in the top left corner of the screen, you can activate auxiliary lines in order to assist your measurements. In the right lower corner, you can find the color selection window. Using this window, you can select the colors for the measurements, so you can always use a color that is easy to see. If you have selected these, the next measurement will take place using the selected colors. Once you are finished with the measurement and have the picture saved, you can click on the Make Picture button and activate the camera feed and start the next measurement.